Okay, so I have a uh, GM Powermaster 100 watt alternator that I just finished cleaning up and inspecting and making sure the armature is in good shape. Spent a bunch of time on my buffer polishing up the, the housing so it looks good. This goes in my, my Pro Street car. So, and the trick is um, getting the brushes back into the brush holder. So, I've been kind of working on a couple different ideas on how to how to do this. It's simple, you gotta fight the springs and the brushes. So the simplest way I've come up with so far is you can slide an Allen key in from the bottom through the spring holder or the spring and brush holder. You gotta get it lined up first. All right. So now I've got the Allen, you can see it coming all the way from the outside of the housing through the bottom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the brush back past the Allen, or the spring past the Allen key. All right, now, got the spring pushed back. Oh, well. I'm going to very carefully lift, pull the Allen out while pushing the other Allen up through the housing to grab the spring so the spring doesn't get in my way when I'm trying to put the brushes in. So now, got the next, the next one lined up. There. Now, I have an Allen key inserted, or Allen wrench pushed in through the bottom, through the spring holder, or the brush holder, and holding this, now holding the springs back. Now, what I've been able to figure out that works fairly well is you have to put these brushes in the right direction because there's a slot cut in the side of the holder for the, the, the wire that holds the brush in place. And if you very carefully get the brush in place, which is easier to do without the spring pressure in place. Pull the Allen key down, you can push the brush in, and then reach in, boom, the brush is now being retained, okay? So now the next thing to do, and you can see how the wire runs along the side here, so it can move in and out with the brush. Now the next thing we gotta do is get the next brush installed in place. So we get it lined up, put my finger on there. All right, now the only trick is what's gonna happen is when I go to pull this down, the top brush is gonna wanna pull out. So I'm gonna have to hold two brushes at once. Now, one trick for dealing with this might be to, while I'm getting that bottom one in shape, put a key in the top just to prevent that one from popping out and then reach in, push on this. It's lined up perfectly. At least it feels like it is. Yep. Grab the hemostats. Make sure that we're lined up correctly. Yeah, that looks good. All right, sitting on top of the spring. Now I'm gonna pull the bottom key down until, slowly, until I can get that spring, that brush to go in. I'm gonna push the brush in until I can get the key out in front of the brush.
There we go. Now I've got the, the key in front of the brush. Whoops, that wasn't good. I'm do the same thing on this top one. Pull that down. There we go. Now, there we go. So, what we've got now are both the brushes are put in place. The wires that connect the brushes are moving freely and are lined up with the grooves here. And now, it's pretty easy. I can just take the armature and put it back in. Before I do that, I'm going to put a little dab of grease in these needle bearings. Grab the armature. Slowly set it down inside of here. Get it lined up in front. Keep it coming down. And then, yeah, it's spinning the shaft. Boom. Pull out the on wrench and she's running on the shaft and the brushes are running up against the armature. All right, so now we just put the front plate on. And that's it. Ready to bolt back together. There she goes. That's it, your brushes back in.